Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and I'm very happy because I'm doing a collaboration with my good friend, the great artist Marcello Barenghi. In this tutorial, I will be drawing his eye and meanwhile he's doing a video in which he's drawing my eye. To watch his drawing and video, please click in the link below or the link that I will provide at the end of this tutorial. Enjoy! We begin by drawing a slightly tilted line, then the lower eyelid, the upper one, and the pupil. This, as you know, is round, but it doesn't need to be perfect. You can do it by hand, like this. Good. We sketch the upper part of the eyelid, which Marcello has it more or less like so, and the eyebrow. We do a little bit more detail, and we can start coloring. On the iris, there will be a reflection of a window, and it also will have its own texture. And on the pupil will be the reflection of the person taking the picture. The color of the pupil, of course, is black, but here it will have also some reflections and different tonalities. Through the window, I want to be able to see some buildings. And a little bit lower over here, Marcello's easel in his studio. Very good. Over here in the pupil, the person, and we darken it a bit. Generally, the iris is a little bit darker closer to the pupil, as well as on the outer edge, a little bit like a ring, with little stripes, and of course, everyone has its own pattern with different shapes and colors. Marcello has them hazel brown, by the way. You may reflect the eyelashes here, and this can look very good. Let's not forget the capillary, which we do them with red, and they give them a realism to the drawing. We continue darkening, especially, as I told you before, closer to the pupil. With pencils violet, gray, and white, we can begin making the white section of the eye. And which, by the way, it is never totally white, at least because its own shapes. We do the lacrimal with pink and red, leaving some small reflections. Very good, I like it so far. To give it more volume, we need to increase the intensity of the shade. We may use some black, but with caution, because it can make it look a little dirty. And, of course, we use different tints of pink. In order to render the eyelashes, make sure your pencil is really sharp. If you think that this drawing is coming more or less nice, wait to see Marcello's. His drawing is spectacular. In fact, you wouldn't believe it if you don't see it. I feel really blessed that he drew my eye. We set many small white reflections to render the texture of the skin. In the shadows, I am adding an alizarin crimson. That is a red that tends toward the violet. Good! I think this eye is looking at you. <laughs> the eyebrow, of course, shouldn't be solid. That is why we work it by doing a series of thin lines. We continue giving it different hues in shadows. Doing this, it's such a pleasure. Drawing it's fascinating. The light source in this case comes from the upper left. Therefore, all the surfaces facing that should be lighter while all the ones facing the opposite side, such as the lower right of the bottom eyelid, should be darker. To end the drawing, let's give it an artistic touch. Let's have him look through a hole in a piece of paper. We do the last touches, little tears in the paper, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. Don't forget watching Marcello's video, clicking here, or the link below. And I will see you, as always, on Tuesday.